PSMA is a transmembrane protein, which is very often overexpressed in men with advanced prostate cancer, especially when the disease becomes resistant to a castration and other treatments. So it's a perfect target. I'm saying that also because it's, uh, it's expressed very low or, or not at all expressed by other cells besides prostate cancer cells. Uh, actually, the salivary glands do express PSMA, but this is really an exception in the body be besides prostate cancer. So again, it ideal uh, target. PSMA uh, lutetium is the, the current way to target uh, PSMA um, expressing cells. There are actually some other means uh, coming, but for today we'll speak about PSMA lutetium. And actually, uh, the, the, the concept is quite simple. You uh, actually bind to a ligand to PSMA, a radioactive uh, compound, which is lutetium, so that the ligand finds the cancer cells and the lutetium hopefully will kill the cancer cells when injected intravenously. So we know for quite a while now that a PSMA lutetium is active in this disease in advanced prostate cancer, even in patients who have fell a next generation hormonal agents and taxane. We, we knew this from anecdotal experience uh, from Germany. The Germans actually invented the, the, the treatment and also from uh, uh, phase two and randomized phase two conducted in Australia. So Vision is actually the first phase three trial directly assessing the efficacy and toxicity of PSMA lutetium on top of standard of care in men who have already exhausted existing options, including uh, AR targeted agents and taxane. So you could use any standard of care you want it in this situation, except radium 223 just because you cannot combine uh, radium 223 with PSMA lutetium, and also with the exception of cabazitaxel for same reasons, absence of combo data. And patients who are randomized to receive standard of care alone or standard of care plus PSMA lutetium, four cycles, once one every uh, six weeks, and you could act actually add uh, two additional if the patient was responding and tolerating well the treatment. Data are, I think, crystal clear. Uh, the two primary endpoints were met. Overall survival, which is obviously the most important when it comes to medians, approximately 11 months in the control arm versus 15 months in the experimental arm. So almost a 40% reduction in the risk of death. And actually the same applies to the primary endpoint of the graphic progression free survival uh, with uh, approximately three months in the control arm as a median and uh, nine months plus or minus in the experimental arm with PSMA lutetium. So very clear efficacy data coming together with response uh, in being improved with PSMA lutetium. Uh, the other good news is that, generally speaking, it's a rather well-tolerated treatment that can be used also in the elderly, for example. Uh, we saw an excess in dry mouth, uh, again, due to the fact that PSMA is expressed by salivary glands, uh, but nothing very bad, to be honest, and this is also my own experience with patients. We also see uh, also so uh, an excess in hematological toxicity with PSMA lutetium, and this is because you are irradiating part of the bone marrow. So excess in anemia, thrombocytopenia, leukopenia, but again, nothing really bad as compared to the, to the control arm. Some nausea and vomiting, you need to, to use uh, prophylactic drugs uh, to avoid that, and it's obviously doable. So again, lots of good news from the efficacy and the safety uh, uh, aspects of, 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 the, of the trial. And I think and I hope that uh, PSMA lutetium will soon be uh, approved by various agencies uh, across the world, which is great for patients.